All right, guys and girls, welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. <laughs> check that out. <laughs> Can you dig it? All right, check it out. Behind me, I got that 2012 Ford F-150. Now, you remember in part one, the car had a PO, what was this? P0012. And we tested out the variable timing solenoid, and it was not working. It did not affect the RPM at all. Well, today, we're going to change that, and... I'm gonna show you how to flush out this engine better than any other thing out there on the market. Coming up on Astro Auto Repairs. This channel is a member of the Astral Stars, which means we have a zero tolerance policy against the harassment of others. Anybody who violates that policy will be banned. For further information, please visit www.theastralstars.com. All right, guys, 3.5. Now, to change this solenoid, it's going to be on this side of the engine, the right side, <coughs> the passenger side. But the first thing we need to do, because once you start this vehicle up, it ticks. So uh, I don't know how long it the oil hasn't been changed or whatever so the first thing we're gonna do is get up under there and drain the oil out of this vehicle let me see this is kind of high where I might not even have to jack it up but we're gonna find out let's get us a drain pan and all and we'll be right back all right guys I don't even have to jack this up this is gonna be sweet all right what I'm gonna use is a 15 millimeter shallow socket with my long 3 8 drive swivel head extension let's get up under the vehicle and where is this? There it is. There's our drain plug right there. Yeah, buddy. So what we're gonna do is get that up there, and we're gonna drain. Let this oil drain out of there. What's that thing? Oh, they put that yellow, yellow tape on that thing. All right, so let's get this oil starting to drain out, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got the oil draining out. Now I'm going to let all this oil drain out. And this is what we're going to do, guys. I'm going to show you how to how the best way of cleaning out your engine. Let all the oil drain out. <coughs> put the drain plug back in. Take you a gallon of gas. That's right. I said a gallon of gas. Pour it into the engine. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, buddy. Pour it into the engine. Do not, I repeat, do not start that vehicle. No, I am not about to tell you to run it for 10 seconds, 20 seconds. Do not start that vehicle. You let that gas stay in that engine just sitting in the bottom of the oil, chain, oil pan. Because this is what's happening. When that gas gets down there, it's going to start <coughs> breaking up that sludge, especially on that pickup screen that allows the oil to go throughout the engine. So it's gonna start breaking that up. So while we're doing this job, we're gonna be letting that down there, break that sludge up. Then, once we finish the job, we're gonna drain all that out. Yeah, buddy, check that out. Now, a lot of people, a lot of times you might hear me say use kerosene. If you use kerosene, remember, kerosene and diesel is oil-based. So when you put that in, you put it in a quart, you let it run through the engine. But that's gonna take a while. That's gonna take a few oil changes. Doing this method right here, you're guaranteed to get this, that bottom of that oil pan done in about 15 minutes, the complete bottom. Take that sludge out of there. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is take off the, take off the uh, engine cover right here, and that cover just pops right up. Well, first we gotta take off the oil cap. Then the cover pops right up and pull it up out of there. All right, we'll be right back with the next steps. All right, you guys. Next, what you want to do, you want to remove your negative battery terminal. I have a eight millimeter socket with deep socket. I have my three H drive ratchet. Where's my three H drive dad gone, man. I'm messing up already. So what you want to do is turn. Now, you don't have to take this all the way out. It will come off once you have it loose. Now, 
We're gonna get that off. We'll be right back. All right, you guys. In order to change this sensor, we will have to unplug the tabs. Then we'll be removing the spark plug. I mean, the coil unplug um, harness, so we can try to get this valve cover up. So now I have my flat screwdriver. Instead of me going into the tab right there because it's so small, I'll just stick it right in the corner. Dag on, I can't even adjust the camera. And once I get it in there, just pull it up. If I can even get it. Just like that. Just that simple. Now, I'm gonna do the other one, and I'll be right back. Now. Add the other tab up as well. So, all you want to do is pull up. Comes right off. Comes right up. Now, here we go. Right here, you have a little red tab. Take the screwdriver. Pull that thing up just like that. And right here, you have a push in the tab. Just push it in. I can get my hand to the thing. You back that tab up? Yep. Yeah, yeah I can get the thing. That's easier just to take those things right out of there because them things always get in the way. Alright, so. I mean, you can back it up right there. Now what you gotta do, see the gray one right there, you gotta push to the connector. But that that thing still gets in the way sometimes. Then we can unplug it. All right, let's do the last one and we'll be right back. All right guys, I got my funnel right here. And what I got over here is about a gallon of gas. Okay, check this out, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pour this right into the engine. Now I'm using a gallon, but to be on the safe side, in case you're doing this on a four cylinder car, Use just two quarts. You want just enough to reach up to that screen. And I'm gonna show you when we drain this oil out, I'm gonna show you what comes out. All right, we'll be right back. Also guys, one thing I also want you to do is do not put the cap back on. We do not want this system to seal itself because gas, you know, at the vapors and all, I don't want to build up any kind of pressure. So it de I definitely want it to vent. And I'm gonna keep that off. Or if you don't want to, put your cap back on it, take your oil dipstick, and let that hang out there, just like that. All right, let's get this valve cover off. We'll be right back. All right, you guys, now, what I'm gonna be doing is removing this too. So what you wanna do is, I can't get, get an angle on that thing. All right, you see this tab? Push it, pull up on it, just like that. Good, you got another hand. Huh? There you go, pull that, pull that hole up. All right, guys, we got that done. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our coils out. We'll be right back. All right, guys, the next thing we're gonna do is get, see all these bunch of hoses and all that? We need to get them out of the way. Now, what you wanna do is disconnect this the least, with the least amount of uh, <coughs> things disconnected so we can put this back. All right, so what we're gonna do is start in the front of the valve cover over here. You got a hose doing, going down here to the breather. We're gonna get our needle nose pliers. And 
And if you have a problem like that, like I'm having right here, you can get you a, a flat screwdriver or I got my body panel here. Go ahead and twist that. Get that off. The next, come up here to the top. You're gonna have one right here. I wonder, can I use this side? Get that one off. Now be very careful of this one because this one is held in by a Christmas tree clip right there. So that's why I got this body panel right here, the pry bar. I'm gonna go in there and pop that up. That's loose. This one is loose. Now, this one over here, right here, is held on by one a stud going down to the valve cover. That's all you want to do is grab it and pick that right off the stud, just like that. Look at that, man. We got all this coming apart. That is great. The next thing you want to do, you got a little clip right here. Just go to the center. Get that up. This thing. Now, guys, besides, I got this set from Harbor Freight. It's like $5.99. As you can see, this thing comes in handy, not just body panels, but things like this as well. Pop that up, and this thing will come right off just like that. Let's put this back into place so we don't lose that. Now that's up. The next thing you want to do is you got a connector right here. Now this connector, on the other side of this connector, has got a little spring that you gotta push that spring in and then unplug it. So, you're gonna push that in and then unplug it. That's done. Look at that, we're coming up, coming along good. Now we got our um, hoses right here. Now what you wanna do here is, let's see, I'm gonna try to disconnect it from over, uh, I could disconnect it from here. Let's get our little tool. And you know what, guys, you know what, better yet, let me go get me a regular screwdriver right back all right got us a nice flat screwdriver and what I want to do is stick the screwdriver in there to break the seal without breaking the holes and once you get that loose dang it let me get back this again and you got to be careful about this guys because this thing is that T right there is plastic I don't want to break it or nothing. Man, that thing sucks. Okay, there's one. Now this one, I'm gonna disconnect it from right here. So that way I definitely can't confuse them when I go to put them back together. Vacuum coming out of here. Got it. All right, lean that to the side. This is coming out perfect. The next thing we do, let's get us our needle nose. Take off our clamp right here. Pull this one off, and as you can see, the whole thing is coming out as an assembly. The next thing you do over here, you got another Christmas tree clip. So let's get this, get 
a tool up under there. Pop that out. it up enough to get my needle nose in there. You know what guys? Let me get a heavy duty body panel tool. Be right back. Alright guys, I got me a heavy duty one here. Go ahead. And pick that. Yeah, dang it. Broke that piece right off. It's good. It's good. Alright, let's you know what I want to do is take this whole thing out of here so it's not in the way. So we got a vacuum canister up here. Pop that off. Then we go on down, one going right down to right here. Pull that off and right here it looks like. See the light for a minute. I like a clamp on that one. Over here. Yes, it is. Okay, that one guy's got a little clamp on it. So let me get my needle nose. Twist it back and forth to break the seal loose. What I'm gonna try to do is use my other hand to try to pick up on it. Dang it. What the heck? There we go. All right. Now, looks like it's going into this clip right here. Uh, that's good, that's good. I'm gonna come out with that. Okay, we got a wiring harness here. So what we're gonna do is take the holes. We got back up some of that. And get it out of that clip. There we go. And carefully take our whole assembly up. Now see, and we left everything where so everything should be really easy putting this back together. All right, let's set this to the side and we'll be right back. All right, you guys. Next thing you wanna do is take up your cores. So you have one bolt that's holding it in. That should be a 516 or either an 8 millimeter. I'm using an 8 millimeter deep with a four with a four inch extension. So let me get this. Let me check this one out for you all, show you what you need to do. And we'll guys, now, a good idea on doing this right now is to mark your coils where you took them out at. So get you a marker, wipe off the top, and first one's marked with a D. Just put some marks on them. This thing is getting blurry. Get some marks on them. So that way, in case inside the ECM, it picked up a misfire, <coughs> you don't want to, you know, uh, swap the coils, and then you'll be diagnosing the wrong thing. As you can see, somebody already replaced one. So definitely, let's mark those one, two, and three. And, got the bolt out. Twist the coil a little bit and pick it right up. All right, let's do the other two and we'll be right back. All right guys, Billy Bob is marking them and while he's marking them, we got a wiring harness going on around here. Let's see if we can get this thing clear. There we go. This wiring harness comes up. 
It goes right there on that bolt. So we're going to pick that up off of that. And then it goes around here to the throttle body. Now to disconnect it from the throttle body, you got that same red tab. Back that red little latch up. Squeeze in. And unplug it. Go down. Let me see if we can see this for you guys right here. But if you look right inside here, see that right there? Another Christmas tree. So what we're gonna do here is just get that to pull out. Let me get some needle nose and get that in there. I know you. I know you hate these clips as much as I do. Couldn't figure something better out to do than this. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys. Next thing we we'll do, our wiring harness is going to come around. Pull our wiring harness around here, and then we're going to follow around because it's going on studs onto the valve covers. And here's the next one. Let's pick this up. Get a better angle at that. Oh, you even got the coil. This guy got one coil out, man. Because your, your, your arm was in the way. I couldn't just tell you to get out of the way. Yes, you can. Did it before. No, I could. Alright, guys, let's get you our needle nose in here and try to. Man, get out of the way. See, I'm busy. I'm getting a whooping and I gotta come over here and save you. Yeah, kick man. What was you saying? Oh man, that thing was. Yeah, man, it pulls up. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of here. Oh, let me check. Let me check. Heck yeah, it does, man. Let's see. This. No, 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 no. Hold, hold. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's use the hose pliers. Okay, we're going the wrong way. You're going on to the intake, so you need to use. Am I around it? Yeah. Man, it's probably slipped through the harness. Hold oh, on, I think it might be. There it is. Dang, that thing was tight. There it is, guys. Okay, we got this one, one more over here, and one way back there on the corner. So let's get those up. And the coils, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got our harness up. The last one, dang it, I thought I had that up. Okay, that's up. Now I'm gonna take my body panel removal tool, and we got one more Christmas tree right here. <laughs> all right finally all right so we're gonna take our harness and swing our harness all all the way to the side get that out of the way 
Oh man, what, what the heck is this? We got one more right here. It's going onto the valve cover. Dang it! This thing ain't doing no good, man, right here. I mean, it gets in there. Just enough of, so you can wedge the pry ball. I mean, um, the uh, needle nose through there. That's all it's done. Huh? ain't too easy as I thought it was. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll be right back. <laughs> Alright guys, the next thing we're gonna do, we got four 8 millimeter or 5 16 nuts that we gotta take off for some brackets. Number one is right here. One, two, and then we got a bracket right here is holding up our heater holes. Number three and number four. You can see those pretty good? Mm -hmm. Alright, those are 8 millimeter. So, What I'm going to do is use my pole driver with my 3 8 drive adapter for sockets and I'm using an 8 millimeter deep socket. And what I want to do is go in there and be careful not to drop them. Okay, took those two off. This bracket is going to come right off. All right, we're going to put this in the party line. Yeah, we're like, what the heck is a party line? We're about to show you in a minute, all right? We'll be right back. <coughs> all right, guys, check this out. This is our party line, and you may want to adopt this kind of method. What happened, what it is, when you take apart a car that you never took apart before, which you, every time you take off a part, you put it there, and then you start putting it in a line. So when you go to put this job back together, you just start at the end of the line. You don't got a big bunch of mess. You don't know where stuff's going. You can leave this job apart for a year. As long as nobody messes up your party line, you're going to put this car back together. So our next thing in line is that little bracket we took off with our two 8 millimeter or 5 16 nuts. I'm going to set it right there just like that. All right, let's get back over to the truck. We'll be right back. All right, you guys. Now, as you know, we're still using the same to you know a 5 16 or 8 millimeter uh deep with our power driver and a socket adapter my power driver you know what i'm saying i said it, i did it a little late but okay you got two eight millimeter uh nuts down there or 5 16 so what i'm gonna do is take this off you don't want to lose your boat i mean your nut okay this one Grab number two. Uh oh. Uh oh. We got a little difficulties. Now, as you all see, you're gonna run into that little problem. So, I'm gonna grab a, another socket and I'll be right back. All right, you guys. What I did was add a six inch, three eighths drive extension with my eight millimeter deep or either five sixteen. Now, as you see, can you see that? Yeah. I'm halfway on the nut. So what I'm gonna do is pull my little tool back a little bit. Take that thing right off just like that. Take notes, I'm going slow with it because I wanna drop that nut. So I'm gonna get this off and we'll be right back. All right, you guys, we have that nut off now. What you wanna do, you have a little bracket here. You just wanna pick this thing up and push it back. It might not move much, guys, but that's all you worried about, just getting it just enough that you can uh, get to those two bolts right there to hold it in the valve cover. Yeah. Now, you guys, as you see, I'm holding the top um, bracket. So what you do, you have a hose here. You have another little bracket at the bottom. You just do that one the same way. Just pick it up, push it over. That's all you want to do is just get it out of the way. Now that that's done, we'll be removing the boat for the valve cover now <coughs> we'll be back 
I, I mean, I was give it a take no, away one. No, because you got we got to show them there's difference. In it. Okay, all right, you guys will be right back. All right, you guys, I'm back. Now, if you real, if you look, you'll realize you see you have the studs, and then over here you have both. So, what I want to do is, I want to make sure I know exactly where the boats come from. So I'm taking my rag, I'm wiping that section down. So when I mark it. I can see my mark. Now, what I'm, what I have here is my marker. So I'm just gonna put a dot right there to let me know that is where I got a boot from. I'm gonna do the same here, so I can know this is where I got my boot. Now that it's there, we'll no, ho ho, guys, check it out. While Billy Bob was doing this, I noticed we got a Christmas tree right in the back of the valve cover, man. Right at the with this harness. This harness right here is going to. And that is a pain to get to. Um let me see here. I got a little miniature pair of wire cutters. I'm gonna try to get in there. Nope. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Hold on, man. Fucking. Nah, 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 nah. I, I definitely scratched that idea, guys, because um, I don't want you guys to take a chance and end up squeezing and cutting the wiring harness. So, let's see if, um, and how tight these things are. I'm afraid that it's going, it ain't, it's not just going to come up normally. Let's see if I can pick it up. Heck no. You got to be kidding me. Man, did, did, they, did they actually do this? Oh, yeah. All right, what about if we... What about when we take the valve cover up? We we'll bring the valve cover forward enough to get to that. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, it might work. Sounds like a plan. No, I don't think so. Well, we ain't got no choice. Yeah, because, but guess what? What? Per se, because it's got to be. What if it's on a stud? It's not on a stud. I looked at it. Okay. Hard hit it, man. So that's what we're gonna try. All right, guys. So what we're gonna actually do is pick the valve cover up. Go forward as much as possible and try to get to that Christmas tree. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, hold on the valve cover. We have a series of bolts and bolts with studs. <coughs> the first thing we're going to do is the hardest ones get to the back. Now, this is a good time to have you a big bill. Look at that, man. Look at the reach on that thing. I can stand across the street and get those bolts out of there. So what we got here is a 10 millimeter deep 3 8 drive socket. And what we're gonna do, get that horn, get that out of the way. Okay. One. This one is, this one is way over here. I think I'm more on that one. There you go. That, guys, you definitely can do this with a, a regular ratchet, but you can see how easy it is. And from Harbor Freight, get this thing on sale for like 99 bucks. Regularly, it's like 129, I believe. Now, I noticed that these bolts do not come out all the way, so that means they stay inside the valve cover. So that's good. All right, so let's get this one out, and then Billy Bob's gonna move on to the next step. We'll be right back. How about you guys? As you know, Tim took, out the, took the harder ones up or loose. I will be going from, from here on back. So what I'll be using is a six inch, a six inch uh, thread drive adapter with a 
a deep 10 millimeter socket. And I will be using the hard driver. Hard driver is quick. Man. I know it. It took you 30 minutes to get those folks from this. Now, take nose. You know, I uh, slowed up just in case that still is coming up. Good. Still might come back crazy, so. Alright you guys, we have the rest of these, this one here, the one here, you have this one, and these two. We're going to get those out and we'll be right back. Alright guys, the next thing we'll do is take up our pry bar. Now, I mean take up our valve cover. For this part right here, this valve cover is going to be really, really stuck down in there. And it's going to seem like you got another bolt holding it in, but it's not. Make sure you got all 11 bolts out. I'm going to be using a small pry bar. And we're going to start from the front of the valve cover right here. Now, when you put that screwdriver in there, can you see in there or you need light? No coming. Gotcha. All right. Now, right now, I'm pushing up against the valve, the, the valve cover gasket. Right between the valve cover and the cylinder head. I don't care if I messed up that valve cover. What I may, need to make okay. sure that, yeah, that gasket. I need to make sure that my pry bar gets in there enough while it's in there I am going to not pry but I'm going to twist counterclockwise and clockwise and you can see the valve cover start to move now move to another spot oh man this thing sucks move to another spot okay And we gotta keep on going around and working this valve cover. Yeah, it's a stupid thing. And you guys, you wanna make sure your boats are all like out. This. Yeah. Because if not, you might break the uh, valve cover. I might get a smaller pry bar on this side. Because this thing, man. Really get stuck down there, guys. All right, our front is up. Now I gotta somehow get back here and start doing the back. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get me a longer pry bar. Actually, actually, let's change sides here. I can go right between here. Dang it. Uh, let me get a. Oh, wait a minute. I just got this screwdriver right here. Nah, guys, let me go get a longer pry bar. Be right back. All right, guys, got me a little longer pry bar here. I'm gonna stick this pry bar up under here to hold this valve cover up. And get this one wedged in here somewhere. There we go. Something in the front is holding it. Oh, oh wow, looks like uh, the spark plug tube seals on this side is what's holding it down. There it is. Okay. Oh, get out vacuum line over here and breather. And one thing I want to do is pick this up and bring it forward. Wanna, dang it, bring it up enough so I can get to that Christmas tree. There's a Christmas tree right in the back of here. There we go. All right. 
Oh, wait a minute. Dang it. There's a sensor connected. Let's see if I can get that disconnected. Okay. All right now. This sucks, guys. All right, I gotta back it up just a little bit. Because now, I'm got a little tension on the harness, so back it up just a little bit. Just so I can... Can you believe this? Are you kidding me? Any ideas? Because we need we need to grab it and pick it up, but the problem and if those if that Christmas tree is like these rest ones, <coughs> that ain't gonna be easy at all. <sighs> we need something to grab back there without grabbing the wiring harness. Yeah, I can feel it, man. If I can... Cover is up and free. You made to put enough tension on it to get it out. This is the most stupidest setup, man. For some valve cover gasket, for some cylinder. You tell me they couldn't think of a better thing to do than this. I mean, it's right there too. If I had a pair of small needle nose or something. Um, all right guys, I'll be right back. All right guys, what I'm gonna try here is try my body panel. And I don't wanna use anything that might mess up the harness. This really sucks. Who did? And I'm a Ford man too. And this, so this definitely bothers me. That ain't gonna work. All right, guys, time for Plan B. <laughs> Be right back. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to use these needle nozzles. I don't have short needle nose. Man, it ain't reaching down there. Ugh, oh, man, it sucks. You know, forget that. Will it? Ah! Will it? Ah. Ah. Baby, you can't lose. <laughs> oh, oh, man. All right, let's see if this thing. There we go. Whoops. I gotta make sure. Yeah. Oh, Look at that. It was clipped right in there, guys. There's the Christmas tree right there. That thing sucked. And there's a sensor I disconnected right there in the back, like a cam sensor. So make sure you reach back there and unplug that as well. And that's all you have to do is push the tab in and pull it out. Dang it! Get all this stuff out of here. All right, let's set this, bring this valve cover out and we'll be right back. All right guys, let's prepare our valve cover. What we're gonna do is we got three spark plug tube seals and we got the two seals here for our uh, variable timing solenoids. I'm gonna take my pry bar. And what you wanna do is just get right on the edge, right about there. Knock those things down. Okay, we're gonna get those. This is a plastic valve cover, you gotta be very careful. Now, we're gonna go ahead and take these out. Let's get the other one and we'll be right back. 
All right, guys, for this next step, you're going to need a 32 millimeter socket and a 26 millimeter socket. Now, because we're going to knock our seals back in. Now, on the two for the for the variable uh, solenoids, you're going to go to this level, even right with the top of the valve cover. But on the spark plug two seals, inside you're going to see a little lip. Can you see a lip further down? Mm -hmm. We're going to line those up with that. Okay, let's put one of these. Uh, let's let this uh, mower go by, then we'll come right back. All right, guys. Here's our new seals, and you see, you see how this one's turned up like this, and this one's turned up like this. You want to put these in with them turned like that. So let's grab one. Level out. Put our socket over it. Watch yourself. Watch your hand work. And you want to keep going down till it's even. Let's get our other one in and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got those two in. Now the same theory goes with these. And remember, we got to stop till it stops with that ledge right inside. This thing is, a, the sound is annoying as anything, guys. So what we're going to do is set the new seal in. So make sure it goes down kind of even. Let's get our socket, 32 millimeter. Because it's going to go right on the edge. See guys, I'm taking my time because I want to make sure it stores down evenly. And we're almost there. Just a little bit more over on that side. Right there. Looks good. Mm -hmm. And guys, you definitely don't want to hit this too much because you shatter that valve cover. All right, let's get the other ones in and we'll be right back. How about you guys? We have all our seals in. So, what you want to do is turn the valve cover over and you want to remove this gasket. Now, you want to be careful. The valve cover is plastic. So, just find you a nice little indenture somewhere. Set that thing this. God. Dang it! It took a squeak come out. Oh, hold, hold, hold. This sun is blocking me, man. I can't even get a good. Okay. All right, there we go. All right. Once I got it up a little bit, I just held on to it so I can stick my screwdriver in it because you don't want to keep twisting on this plastic. Got myself a little trench. I pull this up, and we'll be right back. How about you guys? First thing I want to do. Well, first thing you want to do is get your uh, pan or something to catch your your old residue in. And get you some carburetor cleaner and spray your insides. You want to clean all around where you see your new seal going. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm just go ahead and clean all of this, get a little gunk out of there. Let me get back a little bit. 
Ik zie het zo maar. Ik wil nog een beetje dat uit. Ik wil nog een beetje dat uit. Ik wil nog een beetje dat All right, guys, we're gonna get this cleaned up and we'll be right back. All right, guys, while Billy Bob is doing that, we're gonna take me a nice clean rag and you don't need no abrasives or anything. And that's why you went in with a valve cover <coughs> set set. Gonna go ahead and just take it <coughs> and wipe the dirt away. And you wanna wipe it away from inside. Go all around this. Clean this up. All right, let's clean this cleaned up, and we'll be. And also, Josh, check this out. We got it. We got it right on these little contacts right there. You see where that little silicone is. So that you might have to scrape out the way, and you can pick it up with your fingers, actually. All right, and down here. All right, so let's get all that out, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, I got it all nice and clean, wiped off. That's ready to go, so we can change this solenoid right here. Let's go see what Billy Bob is doing. What's up, man? Where you at? Well, now I'm getting ready to put my um gasket on. So I'm gonna start from there. And you notice, guys, the gasket is made like that and sets into the groove of the valve cover, so it will stay there. Work my way on around. I'm going this way so I can push the gasket all the way back to the other side instead of just doing one side and doing, then doing the other side at the same time. And then you come up with a big hump in the middle. Alright, guys, we'll get that in and we'll be right back. Alright, guys, here's the solenoid that we're changing, but before we do that, let's go back here to that cam sensor where we disconnected. And right there, I'm going to plug that back up. Because before, you know, being that this was in there, I didn't want this to pull that. It looks like we still had a lot of room. But that is sucking. Look how, look how close, look how, look at the tightness of that wire, man. This, that's some bull. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I got me an 8 millimeter, or you can use a 5 16 deep quarter inch drive socket with my quarter inch drive ratchet. And what we're going to do here is this bolt right here. And guys, you gotta be very careful working around here because you guys, this is thing completely open. Something can definitely drop down in there. So you wanna make sure you have a ratchet and a socket that's locked into place that's not gonna come off. All right, so let's get this bolt out of here. And this is another thing to be very careful with. So I'm gonna get this thing. Do not drop that bolt. So, as soon as you all see that bolt hitting the back right here, you might want to prepare yourself. So what I'm doing right now, doing it by hand, taking my time. Don't let nobody come bother you, no poke you, your dog bite you, or you are done. That bolt dropped down in there. Look at it, cutting grass. Cutting grass. <laughs> <laughs> And guys, you know what? You know what? Check this out. Guys, now, what we're gonna do. So we're gonna make sure we teach you guys the right way of doing this. Let's take a rag. Stick that rag over just like that. See, now that's a little bit more safer. Now if it drops, it'll fall somewhere, and then you gotta go find it. It's a long bolt. It might have been a little safe. Alright, there we go. Put this bolt up. Alright, now we got our solenoid. What you're gonna do is just twist it back and forth. Pull the solenoid out. And look at look at look at oh, dog. Huh? Oil. Okay, I got one to see that. Look at that thing gunked up right there, guys. Hold on. Right there, right there. Yeah, you turning and put a glare in my camera. Man, what the heck? Look at that. 
All right, guys, we'll be right back. All right, guys, here's our new solenoid. And let's get this thing out of here. And you can see there's three channels right here, and each channel has a screen on it, the screen. And you can see that one there, that thing is just full of gunk and oil. Match them up, this is perfect. All right, now, putting this back in, what we're gonna do is get some oil. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I got a little fresh motor oil here. And what you're gonna do, you just, eh, dang it. Put a little bit on your fingers. Around. All right, let's go over here and install this. We'll be right back. All right, guys, here we go. Now, guys, before you guys see anything smart, <laughs> I gotta ban you. We did let the customer know the good idea to change all four of me because that one's clogged. Look at look at that one, man, grimy. You know, if this one was clogged, the other ones is probably clogged as well. All right, gonna put that sh in there. Then get our bolt carefully. Get our bolt started by a couple threads, so in that way we know we're not cross-threading it. And then we're gonna go and tighten it up. And I'm gonna show you what to do when you tighten this up. So let me get this down to the end of it, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we go ahead, and when you tighten this up, you wanna tighten it till it stops, and then a little bit more. That's it. You do not want to over tighten this and strip this out. You will believe me, guys. You won't strip this out. What you're going to end up doing is shattering this section over here. That is done. All right. Let's take our rag from out of here. That looks nice and clean. Should have got both of them up there. More. Let's work. And uh, let's go get our valve cover. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Next thing we're going to do is put our valve cover on. But before we put our valve cover on, we're going to take some lithium grease. And we're gonna go around each of the ports, so that's be they'll be easier to go on, and it won't crack the crack these seals where oil is gonna be leaking. It'll be all messed up. So not only the spark plug tube seals, but the variable timing seals as well. And also, just a reminder on this video: remember, we still got the gas into the engine. So if you did that, remember that. That stuff is down there breaking that sludge up, man. So let's get this on, and then we're gonna go bring over, put it on to the valve cover. I mean, put the valve cover on. We'll be right back. All right, guys, here we go. Now, you gotta be careful of right here. This is the spot you gotta be careful of. So let's turn our valve cover over, make sure our gasket don't fall out of there. Then I gotta grab this in a way where we can set it back. And I gotta watch this tube over here because I had a hard time taking that out from over there. There we go. Okay, got our harness back here we gotta watch out for. Okay. Perfect. Okay, we got our things down here we got these brackets down here that we took off we gotta make sure they're out of the way and of course it's not there we go all right now what I'm gonna do is start from the center and while my spark plug to, uh, tube seals are lined up with the spark plug tubes I'm gonna push down to set them into place. And we're gonna take a bolt. And make sure we can turn it in by hand. Good. We'll go around here and make sure these bolts are in. And just at the same time, we're still pushing down. Make sure our harness is not going up under the valve cover or nothing. All right, great. Let's bring all our bolts in by hand by a couple threads and we'll be right back. All right, guys, now we're gonna tighten this up. Got my big bell with my four inch, three inch drive extension and my deep 10 millimeter. Tightening up this valve cover is very, very important. You gotta start from the center and work your way out. If, if you don't, you're gonna take a chance in cracking this valve cover. 
and you don't want to tighten up the bolts you know in a sequence you want to bring them all down first and then go tighten them so we're going to start from the center one right here so all I want to do You can see that valve cover going right down. Oh. <laughs> Alright, now that we got the center four done, the next thing we're going to do is go out to the other ones. Now, over here. And you notice when I get to where I'm feeling that it's tightening, I let up on the ratchet. And what you mean by that is, this is full throttle. Let it up a little bit. Just like that, just to bring that bolt down. Now, for the last three, we want to start from the center one. And then go out to the last two. Okay guys, now that that's done, put your big wheel down <coughs> and now grab you a regular size, regular 3H drive ratchet. We'll be right back. Alright guys, now we got our 3H drive ratchet and we're going to start from the center again. And that's what I'm going to do is tighten it up until it stops and then a little bit more. That's it. Go to each one and go around and to the back one. You know what this back one, I'm going to see if I can do this without the extension. Okay, let me get this one. Okay, now, before I get to the ones in the front, I'm going to go back here and hook back up my Christmas tree. Okay. And hook back up this, get this harness lined up right there. And we got this Christmas tree right over here. Okay, now let's go back up to the ones up here. This one. This one. Start from the center one. And then the ones on the end. This is a hard one right here. You gotta... This is the one where Billy Bob told you you're gonna use, better use a six inch 3H drive extension. Get more of up in there. Okay. And check it out. Notice how the lithium grease helped and made sure those things are sealed because if they're not sealed you're going to get oil coming from inside the valve cover down onto the spark plugs into the coils and mess them up this is looking great guys this is perfect all right we'll be right back all right you guys now what you want to do is put your, your brackets back on can you see me uh, all right good all right so you know the plastic bracket goes on first it's holding your uh your hose so, so you put that on. Now you wanna line up your middle bracket. 
on there, that plant again. All right, just like that. Now, you got two eight mil on. I can, I can, hold on. I can uh, get a better angle at it. Yeah, two eight millimeter uh, nuts that go on there as well. Now, you have your second bracket, which held up your uh, what's the name of that thing, man? Engine cup. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that gun. Now. There you go. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Man, I'll be slipping sometimes. You can reach out, cause I can reach him. Especially right. this one over here. Alright. Okay. Alright guys, let's get our sunken on. We'll be right back. How about you guys? What I have here is a six inch um quarter inch extension and adapter and guys check this out the extension that he got is a wobble extension so that way i, I got this i got this you didn't tell All him right. though I, I know i got this i have an eight millimeter uh deep extension i mean a socket so what you do is when you put it all the way on it's basically a regular um extension can you see that yeah if you pull it out a little bit it's a wobble extension so you may need well you will need a wobble extension so now got me over here i can't see this thing now i'm on it yeah oh you're trying to crook it you're straight again go ahead go right there all right that's, that's tight enough Those out. Now we're gonna tighten this one up and we'll be right back. All right, you guys, looking good. Now, what you want to do is grab your ignition coils. Remember, I did put a mark so I know which one is which. I know I started here, so this is my number one. So, what you do, just push that thing down, make sure it seats rather tight, and so you know once the bottom of your let me see. Once the bottom of your core right here hits right here flat and flush, you know it's down. So I don't think you have to do put your boat in. So now I'm at number two. Yeah. Good thing I'm long though. There's my number three core. My COP core on plug. Now that that is down, I have three eight millimeter bolts line it up stick it in you want to make sure you got about a couple threads that's the way you won't have to worry about stripping it out or whatever you know God, I'm glad I am. It took a while all right now I have my eight millimeter um, quarter inch dry ratchet so what I'm gonna be doing tighten this up Apply a lot of pressure, you know, to put the core down. It stopped. I'm just turn a little bit more. I'm done. All right. We're gonna get the rest of those down, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. Billy Bob got the coils down. That is great, man. This job is coming out great. I mean, it was aggravating taking that valve cover off, but we got past that, and we're looking good. Next thing we're gonna do, let's bring our wiring harness back over. And remember, our wiring harness set onto the studs or the bolts that hold down the valve cover. Bring it down, and what we're gonna do here, is, so we don't mess up, as we lay it down, we're gonna go ahead and plug up our coils, push it in till it snaps into place, then take the little red tab, pull it forward to lock it into place. All right, so we got three of them. And we got this little sensor right here, little connector right here, that's going to that little vacuum solenoid. Okay, then we're gonna go, as well, a matter of fact, before we even do anything, this harness went down 
between here. Actually, you know what? Let's try to just slip it through right here. Okay. Okay, let's hook this on. Then it goes over this stud right here. Then it comes around and connects right to our throttle body. Lock the tab in forward. Then while we're over here, little Christmas tree into there. And then let's connect our solenoids. Connect them up. Then push the tab down to lock it into place. All right, we got both of those and we'll be right back. All right guys, the next thing we got is our whole big spider vacuum assembly. Let's lay that down. And guys, this is very important. Look at this, this came off right here. This right here is a heat shield for the valve cover. So you wanna make sure that, and it's supposed to be like a sticks on there. Make sure that's on there, I might get a little glue and all put it right there that protects that valve cover all right let's get our harness down here this goes over here okay to get us alignment set up our solenoid let's connect that first and push the tab in let me see push the tab in push it on lock it into place then it goes on this little clip right here push that down into place then we got this vacuum line over here Get us some needle nose. I can't reach over here. I should let you do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. Okay, fine. Forget you. Forget you like this. That ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work at all. I don't know why. Why I'm doing this? You could at least give me some pliers instead of this mess, man. Okay. Then work our way forward. Got our two lines right here. Can't cross them up. Can't go into there. <laughs> Push that one into there. Then get this one on. Okay, walking our way around. That's done, that's done. Okay, we got this over here that's gonna go on to the stud. Push that on. Then we got this one right here that's going, first let's hook it up to the tube over here. Then the Christmas tree is gonna hold it into place. Right there, and then we got our one down here. Let's hey, switch sides. Let's cook this one on. Okay, that's connected. That's connected. All now, all we're gonna do is down here by the turbo. We got one right here that has the little clamp on it. Push that down all the way. And there's our clamp. Let's get our needle nose. That's in the place. And we got one more. No, no, two more, sorry. We got one right here. That's going over to here. And guys, you definitely make sure these are hooked up or your turbo will not work. Then we got one up here going to the little vacuum ball right here. Hooked up just like that. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, now we got this little tab right here that was in here and that's just held that into place. 
just like that. Take our little pin that's going to keep that in there. Push that in. That is done. Last but not least, we got our vacuum hose breather tube right here. And that's all these do is push on. Okay, let's get this one on first until it clicks. How we looking, Billy Bob? Looking good, looking good. Okay, what's next on the uh huh. the line? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. We got, we got simple work on on the line now. All right, guys. Next thing we're gonna do, grab out. We're gonna <coughs> go up underneath, and we're gonna show you how that stuff gonna look when we drain this oil out. We'll be right back. All right, guys. We're up under here. Let's uh. Drain this out. Now there's gas in here, so you gotta make sure this pan is enough over. It ain't like no oil just gonna right there. You know, this ain't gonna... Oh man. Look at, that, look at that drip down here, man. I'm a black. Look at that, guys. We could clean glad gas in there. Just from sitting like that, look at that. Looks like motor oil coming out of there. <coughs> that shows you the sludge that's, that was up in this engine. See that mess? Mm -hmm. And that's just from sitting there. That ain't moving, washing around or nothing. That was just from sitting there. You like Pepsi, can you try it out? <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna let this drain out. And what we're gonna do is now jack it up a little bit. Cause I wanted to uh, leave it, let the car is level. It's still on the ground right now, so make sure we want to make sure everything get out of there. And we're gonna go change this oil filter. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we got it let down. Uh, Billy Bob's about to fill it up with motor oil. And while he's filling it up, let's take a walk over here to what we took out. Look at that. Looks like motor oil, don't it? And that's just from the gas sitting in the engine doing nothing. Look at that. Look at how it broke that sludge right up. And guys, let's, make, let's go over here. Here's the oil filter. And the oil that we took out. This thing is done but sludge, man. And look, look, at, look at the oil filter name. Security Global. <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> and... Another thing, guys, and I told you about this in my previous videos, you know, not to, not to put them down, but I got to put them down. <laughs> See that right there? Precision Tune. This is the fourth customer that we've encountered that had an oil change at Precision Tune and something was going wrong with the engine. The other three... Is the engines went the engines was shot gone knocking and everything just done because of the cheap oil and the cheap filter that they put in you got guys definitely stay away from that place definitely look at this this so this makes number four <coughs> that they would have messed up in the customer did state and we saw it. when the car's cold when we first started up this thing rattles like crazy and then it goes away you got cheap oil like that you got cheap filter you went for some, you went for some trouble. You want you want a longer funnel? Yeah, please. He, Cause he about looking crazy in the I, face. Oh, oh, oh. I, you know me, I poured in there. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get the oil poured in there, and we'll be right back. All right, you guys. We uh put put our oil in and everything, oil filters. 
Now, what I'm about to do now is put on our negative cable. So you can just pull that from the side. This way I didn't have to worry about it. Connecting with nothing. And then guys, what we're gonna do when he's hooking that up, we're gonna um grab our Autel AL539B and we're about to test this out. We'll be right back. Alright guys, we shut off and turn it back on. Let's go, let's go. Say zero codes, zero codes. There it is. Codes found, zero. We are good to go. Alright guys, let's start this up. Good, everything is good. Oil pressure is pretty high. Engine oil changed soon. I'm gonna have to reset that. All right, you guys. There you have it. This is how you change a VBT cylinder on a 2012 Ford F-150. Okay. Uh, 3.5. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. Or you can email Tim, Timmy at AstroAutoRepairs.com. If we can't repair it, nobody can. Thank you.